And now, your first alert weather. Well, a fairly great day today because one of the warmest days of the year where well, we got highs and temperatures right now up into the 50s in the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley elsewhere. Even some of the more mountainous regions see reaching up to 50 degrees today. Overall, they're sticking with the mid 40s, uh, but starting to warm up a lot considerably with the plentiful sunshine and blue skies that we got out and about across the region. Just trending a little bit of some light snow flurries and snow showers. They're just trying to slowly disappear just around the Tetons, uh, just south of Jackson, out by Hoback Junction. Also seeing some of those down by Bear Lake as they're starting to move on farther south and disappear overall. And that's what we're going to expect for tonight is a mostly clear night because right next to a high pressure system just off to the southeast, it's protecting us from for now, but we got a system rolling in right behind it. You notice most of the wind coming straight directly from the west to the east, picking a little bit of southerly flow up in the process. But regardless, it's got a lot of moisture and a lot of rain and snow on the way. This can be moving over here quite shortly in the next couple of hours. So let's track this down on the Viper cast that we got going for us. For the rest of the night tonight, things are looking pretty calm. In fact, most of the day tomorrow is actually going to be a lovely day. It's not going to be until this midnight, actually heading in from Saturday into Sunday when this shows up on our doorstep. So Saturday, Expect a pretty good day. Sunday, maybe not so much. If you notice rain throughout the valleys, Idaho Falls down to Pocatello, all the way down to Twin Falls. Good snowfall, though, again for central Idaho and areas around Highland Park in West Yellowstone. As we continue throughout the day, a lot of this line, especially into the valleys, quickly transforms over to snow. So it might be like the system that we saw last Tuesday where we start off with the rain. Then we get the heavier snow showers that look to be just off to the east of I-15. But it, that line's going to uh, be fairly flexible in the next few hours where that's going to happen. Uh, so I can expect it to honestly occur anywhere in the Snake River Plain as well. So around 4 a.m., here's the picture. And heading in throughout the day on Sunday around the lunch hour, we're done with the snowfall uh, for the much of the day for the Snake River Plains in central Idaho. But we'll still continue with some isolated snow showers into Jackson and Driggs for the afternoon hours before high settles in. And that will be kicking throughout the rest of the work week. So once the snowfall comes on through, it's going to be a quick system. But it's still going to pack its punch with four to eight inches expected around Island Park in West Yellowstone. Two to four inches possible in Idaho Falls. You can see how quickly uh, we get from two to four inches down to zero uh, to areas western uh, west of the Snake River Plain like an Arco. But just keep that in mind <laughs> moving on forward. It's going to be windy uh, heading into tomorrow as well. In front of the front, we're going to have some of the warmest temperatures of the year, or maybe even up to 60 degrees in some areas with the strict southerly flow in front of the front wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. And then look, once the front passes, you even get some of these gusty winds that are going to come right behind it, 15 to 20, maybe even up to 30 miles an hour wind throughout the day Sunday as well. So both days of the weekend looking to be pretty windy. But for tomorrow, we're going to be looking to be pretty uh, free of the precipitation overall. It's not going to come again Saturday night, overnight, and into Sunday. So expect a mostly cloudy day overall for tomorrow. Highs tomorrow, some of the warmest of the year, warmer than today. 50 in McCammon, up in Swan Valley, 47 and 50 over in Jackson in Central Idaho. 54 tomorrow in Salmon, 45 in Ketchum. And that's it for the Snake River Plain, 55 in Blackfoot. 53 in Idaho Falls and 59 down by Burley. Eight day forecast coming up in Blackfoot, 55 degrees. But then, then the cold front comes in on Sunday. Our high is down to 39 on Sunday, but plentiful sunshine throughout the week. In Rexburg, 47 degrees. We're down to 36 on Sunday. Windy conditions for both Saturday and Sunday. Then we'll clear things out for the work week. I have 36 on Monday with partly cloudy skies. In Jackson, 50 degrees. Down to 37 with 100% chance of getting that snow shower. In for Sunday before we clear things up throughout the week and get those highs possibly back up to 50 by next Thursday. In Salmon, 54. We're down to 36, though, for Sunday. Up to 50 for Tuesday. Pocatello, 56 tomorrow. Down to 40 for Sunday. Good windy conditions with good snow showers. Sunday early morning. That's going to be the key. But once the system comes on through, look at the work week. Plentiful sunshine to get things done and highs quickly get back up to the mid-50s for next weekend. Send things back over to Todd.